What is up guys, I'm Mr. Malro and welcome to this series where I'm going to be giving you five levels which I think are pretty awesome. So basically what you do is you send them in and I sort them into a list, so from one to five, uh, sorry, five to one, on which is better and which is you know not as good as the other, but it's still good. So send in those levels, inbox me them, comment below with your levels and I will put them in the playlist. Now you can also check out all the links for the, all the levels in the description, so yeah. So first off at number 5 we have Starstorm, which is an FPS type level where the level consists of you shooting uh, enemies and basically getting points, it's kind of a mini game type thing. Uh, I pr I enjoyed this level, uh, I played it a couple of times and uh, the only problem I had with the level is the green enemies that come across the screen. Um, they were a bit too fast. I mean, the cursor the cursor didn't, didn't move at the same speed as them, meaning I couldn't really catch up to them. Usually the cursor would have to probably move a bit faster, because there was other en enemies on the screen as well. But this level is a fun level. Um, I'm sure it would be a lot more fun as well if you had more players, which would probably make it a lot easier, because this level supports up to four players, I believe. So, yeah, that's number five. Okay, so in fourth place we have Dark Times. Uh, I have the Dark Times intro linked below, but after the d intro, uh, the level link begins to the next level. So then you can play through the whole series. There's a series of quite a few levels, and uh, they're pretty fun. Uh, basically, the story is well, it's Dark Times, and you can you basically have um, abilities where you can throw grenades or uh, run and f flip jump. And, and a lot of other stuff, which is a pretty good story. I didn't get to play them all, but I'm sh pretty sure I will later, because this is pretty fun. The problem I had with the series itself is the ladders. Uh, the mechanics feel a bit weird at first, but you, f you finally get used to them. Um, and also, a few other things that I noticed were, um, a lot of the time, it wasn't really... Um, un I couldn't really understand what I had to do. Uh, for example, there was a part in a room, it didn't really tell me to do anything, I don't know if I'd triggered some logic wrong or whatever, but I think most of the main problem is with the logic um, being a bit, you know, it's, it's a bit open instead of having it closed so it, you know, it'll work. It's, I know it can be hard, but um, it was a pretty cool level and I recommend it to you. Okay, so for number three we have Castle of Colours. Now this is a really nice level. Uh, it's pretty relaxing and, and you know, it's, it's a nice platformer. Um, main, basically the main level is about you platforming across lots of different puzzles and stuff and it's really colourful, which is really nice. And uh, there's some relaxing music in the background, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so basically you just play through the platform and jump and, and solve puzzles and a few other things. There's only one problem I had with the level itself, which was where um, the cutscene cameras seemed a bit too long. Um, maybe you could just fix that by increasing the speed of the, uh, the timers. Uh, not timers, you know what I mean. <laughs> Sequences. But yeah, everything else is spot on. It's a really nice level, and I recommend you play it. Stealing second place, we have Boxed In. And uh, this is basically a little puzzle game, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's similar to those flash games where you know where you have to move the cars and then get it around the car park and that sort sort of thing. It's something like this. Um, I spent a lot of the time failing on this level, but that's just because of my uh, stupidity on these games. But it's really fun. Uh, I recommend that you play this. And yeah, if you're in for a challenge, this is it. Now, what I would like to see is this recreated on the Vita, because this would be the perfect game for the Vita. Um, but, yeah, I honestly have nothing against this level. Everything was fine. The menu was amazing. I love the art style and everything. So, uh, one quick thing, actually, now I would add in, is on the menus, I would like to use the directional pad, if possible. I know it's kind of annoying, but all you have to do is just use an OR gate and such to fix that. But anyway brilliant level and uh, I'll be playing it again. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so in first place we have Spikewood which is a platformer and it is pretty cool. So 
basically the level consists of you jumping around, avoiding spikes, going into tunnels, flying out, going crazy with jump pads and all this other cool stuff what you'd like to see in a platform. So the only thing I got annoyed about in the level is the fact that I'm a complete bubbling imbecile, is that even an insult to myself? I don't even know. But what happened a few times was um, I didn't get a long enough run up to jump and I landed on the spikes a few times or you know, something like that. One thing I would like to uh, point out though is that he gives you, or he or she, gives you a um, like a, like a little wait time. So sometimes on the platforms, you so you do you want to jump pad, you fall down, you land on a platform, and the platform would stay there for about two seconds, then move back, then you drop down and you press R1 to do the next part of the puzzle or whatever. So basically, you could see what's below and know what you have to do before the platform goes. You know, so it's going to be a spinny thing or a jump pad or whatever. You can tell. But sometimes those weren't there, which was pretty annoying sometimes. Um, but yeah, apart from that, everything was pretty cool. So I highly recommend you check out all these levels. All these levels are really fun. And well done to the creators because these levels are awesome. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching the first episode of Top 5 Levels, make, to, make sure to leave feedback and your levels below. LBP.me links for all the levels are in the description and they will always be in a list, so you know it's pretty easy to check them out. So I'm the Misamaro and thanks for well, watching, peace. On his screen anyway. So up here, trying to draft him again, but he decides to hit a pole and, and he's just gone off the map completely now. I, I, I'm clueless to where he's gone.